Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to our show. Uh, it is June 11th, and I'm here to talk about tonight's, I guess, tomorrow morning's uh, June 12th uh, LPL League of Legends uh, esports matchup slate. Um, tomorrow's slate uh, is going to be about Ultra Prime versus OMG. Um, that's going to be a good matchup, in my opinion. And then LNG versus BLG. At least from the odds standpoint, um, odds wise, they are both uh, pretty close matchups. But I do think one of the matchups is pretty lopsided and a pretty, I have a pretty good lean on one side. So yeah, um, please stay tuned. But yeah, so I posted the starters, which I'll be doing um, again for the summer split. I did it all throughout the spring split. Um, so if you don't mind, you know, following me on Twitter, that would be great. Um, but I get these uh, from the LPL Weibo website, official website. So they should be uh, shared with you, um, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's the official one. So I just copied and pasted it. So you ultra prime o OMG is the OMG is the first game. Like I said, um, both teams, uh, let me see. I'm going to pull up the spring split LPL standings. I think that is a very important thing to look at only because, I mean, you kind of know where they finished and how they finished like toward late in the season. And also, um, you know, based on the roster, if they have, signed any free agent during uh, the off season between the spring and summer split. Uh, if not, most of the teams, these teams are the same. They have the same roster, same starters. So it's just really the matter of them practicing, scrimming during the off season, but also at the same time, uh, how they synergize early in the season, early in the sp uh, split, because it's very similar. Like some teams struggle, like you saw this morning, rare Adam, they struggled a lot uh, in the spring split as well. And that kind of tells me that some teams are slower to adapt to the new meta, new patch, and a lot of changes that come with the, those metas and patches. So I think that's very important to kind of, you know, kind of uh, gauge as to, you know, whether that those are the types of teams that could be upset um, by underdogs if they are favorites um, and, and vice versa. So I think that's very important to kind of gauge, you know, just based on their performance in the last split and how they perform, uh, how they tend to perform earlier in the splits, uh, even though, you know, toward the late in the season, who knows? I mean, really they hit the peak or they hit the bottom, rock bottom, depending on how you look at it, um, depending on where you are in the standings. So Ultra Prime and OMG, um, without saying further, OMG here finished in the bottom half um, on the, uh, in the 11th place. And then Ultra Prime finished, let's see, pretty, yeah, pretty close, right? I was, I was about to say they almost had the same record. Um, but as you see, they finished very weak. Um, you see that they lost more games, Ultra Prime did. Um, the game difference was very big. And the OMG had a very strong start early in the split so that's kind of what i was talking about that OM omg is probably gonna be a pretty strong uh team i think early in the split so i think that's gonna be interesting let's see who was the favorite ultra prime is the favorite that's surprising so let's look at the individual matchups in the laning phase and then i'll talk about how they tend to fight in team fights when they group later in the games so Shanji versus Zoom, I give edge to Shanji actually. Zoom actually has struggled a lot in the spring split, and I see I foresee that to continue. So actually, I mean, I don't really favor Shanji because I think he's okay, but I actually don't see as much advantage uh, for Zoom as I think. You know, if I if you were to ask me this question last season in 2021, I'd say I would have said Zoom on JDG like by far, but I just don't see him. I just haven't seen him mesh well with his teammates at Ultra Prime. So I, I just, I don't like that. So I want to see. Yeah, I mean, I think Zoom actually just joined on May 30th. So I think, I don't know. I just feel like Zoom, 
new with the team and the the way that he plays, I, I just don't really like the way he plays with who's their jungler? Hacker. Oh man. Yeah. From TES to Ultra Prime. Yeah, I didn't see him do well at TES, top esports. So I think that's that's a wash. And then Aki versus Hacker. I mean, both are fine. Um, Cream versus Crying. Crying, you know, I'm not a huge believer. I think he's more still more of a utility mid laner. And Cream definitely has has the potential to pop off for sure. He can carry a team. I Elk Shoutsy. I mean, Shoutsy is good. Elk is okay. Team WE he used to play for. But Abel and J uh, Jerry, who the hell is Jerry? Okay, Abel's good. He's cocky, but I think he's good enough to match up with, uh, I mean, against Elk. Jerry. What the fuck is Jerry? All right, let's find out. So Cold is not starting uh, the split. That's surprising. So Jerry must be doing really well in scrims. He played for victory five. Ooh, temporary sub, okay. So Victory 5 Academy team, and then now starting for OMG. So he must be a play, but like a really had a good off season. Yeah, I mean, I, I I mean support, you know, as long as I I personally think no name, the coach would not have put out Jerry here if they didn't see anything um between Abel and Jerry working together. I think maybe during practices, they've seen the synergy between them in the bottom lane. So I, yeah, I'm going to have to go OMG here. Um, I, I prefer much OMG. Uh, like I said earlier in the split as well, they had a really good split, uh, start to the split. People were talking about how OMG was going to finish in top five last split. Um, I think I, I, I anticipate similar things uh, for OMG. So I'm going to have to actually pick an upset here. Not much of an upset because it's a pretty even odds. Uh, but still, I mean, UP Ultra Prime is favored, but I'm picking OMG to win. Next matchup between LNG and BLG. Uh, let's see where they finished uh, last split. Excuse me. LNG, as you know, finished fourth. Uh, but they did not do well, I think, or, uh, uh, later in the playoffs. Um, LNG and then BLG. So BLG had a pretty decent season, too, with Uzi and uh, Doggo swapping. Um, but Doggo played most of the, the games. And there were some, I think, some talks about how BLG owed RNG, blah, 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 and all that. And Ben has joined BLG, swapped you know, with breathe. And so now Ben is starting for BLG instantly after winning the MSI. So there's a big change there. Um, and Ben struggled with RNG when he first started. So this is a tough one because of that. Because otherwise I really like Doggo. I really like Crisp, Weiwei, Fofo. I mean, they're all, this is a good team. And then LNG has Ale, Tarzan, Doinby, Light. I mean, that's the same five from last split, and they are a good team. I mean, I know they didn't do well in the play, uh, in the yeah, in the playoffs uh, for the spring split, but they finished the for the season strong. They finished on a three game winning streak, whereas BLG also did two game winning streak. So let's see. Oh man, Iwandi, Lumal, who's starting? Lumal, Iwandi. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. See, this is more of a toss-up, I think. I like OMG and the other one, but LNG, BLG, this is a tough one. I do think I like I like Ale's form. I mean, I like Ale likes tendencies to go up against Ben because they're both aggressive. And then Tarzan, Weiwei, I think Tarzan has an advantage there. And then Doinby, I mean... Going B, I think he has been practicing a lot. I heard in this offseason because he struggled a lot uh, in the last split. I do think that's going to be a pretty good matchup, but I I, I believe in Doing B. I think he's a good player. So 
And then in the bottom lane is where I struggle a little bit because light can be good as long as his team, as long as he doesn't have to be the carry, let's put it that way. So if you think other lanes win and other lanes can help out the bottom lane, I think light does not cost any like big time mistakes or anything like that. But Doggo is pretty good as well. I mean, this is a really tough one. I mean, now that Uzi is gone, the distraction is gone for BLG as well. Um, I think I might have to go with LNG. So I'll probably go LNG to win, but I, I like this game as more of a toss-up. So I'll probably have some of BLG in my GPP. So for cash, I'll probably go OMG, LNG, and then for GPP, probably OMG, BLG. Now, in terms of the kill upside, <coughs> I mean, I think Ultra Prime OMG should be a, a higher kill upside game, in my opinion. Uh, compared to LNG BLG, but let's look at what how they did last year or last split. So spring split, ultra prime, uh, OMG, and LNG BLG. Okay, so combined kills per minute is the measurement that I use to measure kill upside. Yeah, throughout the spring split, OMG Ultra Prime, OMG Ultra Prime. Yeah, I had a higher CKPM compared to BLG LNG. So that's pretty clear, actually. I want to see how they did earlier in the split. So let's see. As you see, OMG Ultra Prime. Yeah, it's pretty clear, actually. OMG Ultra Prime should be a higher kill upside matchup. So I would definitely get maybe long stack OMG and then short stack LNG for cash and short stack BLG for GPP. That's probably kind of what I'm thinking. And then, yeah, if you also want to chat about um, like which players I want to target, uh, let me know. But like for OMG, I mean, I would definitely have to go with Cream and Abel, obviously the mid laners and the uh, mid laner and the AD carry. I'm not sure about Jerry because I, I know Shoutsy is a pretty good support player and I don't know what kind of champions Jerry likes to play. I'll probably look at that and see if he plays a lot of champions that get a lot of assists. But I love Cream here. Actually, Crying does not die. It does not die a lot. So maybe Abel is the priority over Cream if I have to choose between the two. But that's where I'm at. Um, but in terms of like in the other matchup, yeah, I mean, LNG, it's all about light. Um, and then Tarzan, I know Doing B has been kind of in and out, kind of like Baker on T1, where his kill, kill participation is like much lower. It was much lower in the spring split. And then BLG, I think it's going to be Doggo. And with Uzi gone, I think they're going to kind of try to get Doggo going and everything. Seems like at least in the last spring split, uh, dog, uh, BLG went as Doggo went. So I think that's going to be a very important way to increase their win condition by putting a lot of resources in, in Doggo's hands. So, so that's all I got for you guys today. So like I said, I like OMG to upset and then LNG to win the other matchup, but I definitely see that as a more that game as more of a toss up. So I'll definitely have a share of BLG. But if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Um, I'm available on Twitter, Discord, on YouTube. If you guys want to just chat, uh, hit me up at DFS Chan. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and then subscribe button if you want to see other videos. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Good luck out there.